this event today is to address one question. What does research suggest are the most powerful influences on student learning and what does that mean for education in, in Asia? I want to welcome you to this event. I'm very happy that you're here. And it is a very relevant question. It is an event jointly organized by Cambridge International Examinations and Cambridge Assessment Singapore. We work with schools and with ministries of education worldwide. And as such, the question of the evidence base, the evidence base uh, for practice in the classroom and the evidence base for decision making on educational matters uh, on a policy level is at the core of what we do. I know that it is also at the core of what you do. And I'm therefore particularly grateful to our two presenters for coming and joining us today and sharing with us their research and their thoughts on this matter. I'm welcoming Deborah Masters, the Director of Visible Learning Plus, and I'm also welcoming Dr. Lian Huang of the Guangdong Institute Academy, sorry, the Guangdong Academy of Education. Most of all, I'm grateful to all of you for taking the trouble to come here, to listen, and also, I hope, to be active contributors with your questions and your observations later on in the debate. Because today is about educational debate. And we have two audiences. We have all of you here in the room, about 120 people from schools, from ministries of education, from other educational organizations, both here in China and from other countries. In particular, I want to mention our delegation from Thailand, from the Office of Basic Education Commission. Thank you very much for coming here. But we also have another audience which is online. About as many people as we have here in the room are joining us online from different countries such as Singapore, Indonesia, Malaysia, Vietnam, Thailand, India and Pakistan. It's a truly pan-Asian audience. And I have one favor to ask all of you here present today uh, on behalf of our colleagues who are joining us online, which is that if you can, refrain from using the wireless network here. The reason for this is that if many of us use, start browsing, for example, on our smartphones, then it will reduce the bandwidth available, and that may result in some freezing or delays for our colleagues online. So in their interest and on their behalf, I ask you to refrain if you can. Thank you. This event today is one of the first in a series of thought leadership events that we host as Cambridge Assessment Singapore. Cambridge Assessment Singapore was launched last year um, primarily with the task of establishing a regional headquarter for Cambridge International Examinations in Singapore, a regional headquarter for Asia Pacific. So one of our main tasks for me and my colleagues in Singapore along with our satellite offices in Beijing, Kuala Lumpur, and in Auckland, is to manage the relationships with the more than 900 schools that take Cambridge programs and qualifications in the Asia-Pacific region. We also increasingly work with ministries of education and other educational organizations. But the other important task for all of us is to host an educational debate, something which we have not done in the past for Asia Pacific, but something that our colleagues back in the UK have done for many years and quite successfully. We want to bring that to Asia Pacific as well, with the educational expertise that we have in the organization, and particularly with the links to other education experts worldwide. So it is our idea to host a series of events such as today, in which we address topics of particular relevance to education in Asia Pacific and, importantly, in which we not only present, but more importantly, where we host a debate about those educational topics that are important and that are relevant to all of us today. The debate 
takes place not only in events such as the one today, but it will continue beyond those events. And in particular, I would invite you to have a look at the website, which you will find under Cambridge Assessment Singapore, which hosts the material um, that has come out of all our events, such as the speaker manuscripts, the slides, but you will also find the videos and audio recordings of previous events and also, of course, of today. In addition, I would invite you to join our discussion group on LinkedIn. On LinkedIn, if you search for Cambridge Assessment Singapore, you will find our group, and I would um, really welcome it if you could join and participate in that debate as well. In China, we've been present for more than 10 years, and we have a team of two in Beijing, our colleagues Stella Jiang and Ivan Ma, support more than 140 schools that take mostly the IGSSE and A-level qualifications and thus implement the Cambridge curriculum uh, as an international program in their schools, both state schools as well as private and international schools. Finally, I would like to mention our sister organization, Cambridge University Press. Many of you will have seen the book table out there in reception, and if you haven't, I would encourage you to do so and have a word uh, with Mr. Ken of Cambridge University Press, who will be more than happy to talk with you about the range of resources that are available to support the teaching of Cambridge qualifications. With that, I want to hand over to Isabel Nisbet, who is our senior education advisor based with us in Singapore. Um, Isabel is uh, the former chief executive of Ofqual, the regulatory body for examinations in the UK, and as such, a real expert on questions of assessment and on education in general. Isabel will be chairing our event today, and with that, I want to hand over to her and once again welcome you all to this morning. Thank you. Mm -hmm.